grabbed him. Oh, oh, oh. No. <laughs> Those are all the loves. Oh, you better no. catch him. No. No. Yes, I'm riding my one wheel in the house today. <laughs> Hello! Ah, friends and family, yes! You may have also noticed that I've got on a uh, fresh pair of pajamas here. There's a couple firsts that I'm gonna be doing that I haven't done in a long time in my life since I was a little tiny kid. One of them is wearing pajamas. Hillary was really over me not wearing pajamas. I just kind of go to bed in whatever I'm wearing that day. And I guess I can understand why she doesn't like that, but also, it probably is gonna help me sleep better tonight because I don't really sleep too well at night. And maybe, maybe not having pajamas has something to do with that. There's only one way to find out, I guess. So, check this out. First things first, I need to get myself straight into the complaining corner. I can't be wearing my pajamas into the snake room. That would just be ridiculous, ridiculous. Today, also, Welcome to Music Monday. We're gonna give you a much better Music Monday today than we did last week. I feel like you guys really got kind of skimped on last week because if it bites up up on the foot, that would not not be too good. Uh, get your cocoa blocks. Complaining corner. How many of you guys watched Reading Rainbow as a child? Leave a comment down below. Jordy LaForge. I've been having headaches. I had major headache yesterday, like almost incapacitating. I get migraines. Hate them. Hate them. This wasn't necessarily a migraine, but it, it kind of felt like it was a combo of migraine plus like neck tension, back stuff creeping up, and it just sucks. I hate headaches. I don't like to say hate, but man, if we're talking about headaches, I don't really know how else to describe it. I've got them since I was like seven years old. They just paid it for a while, but then they came back and like, ugh. I still got stuff done, which was incredible. But yeah, my solution, at least today, because I'm always looking for new solutions, whether it's taking better care of yourself, eating better, exercising, yoga, all that stuff. Today's solution is a little device I got called a G-Pen. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw this already, but there it is. The G-Pen, that's today's solution sitting on the, oh man, oops, sitting on the solution stool. Yes, yes, yes. And let me tell you what, so far today, it's working pretty well. My room is a mess, pardon it. I'm sorry, I apologize for the mess. I just apologize for the brightness. I don't know why I can't just get my exposure under control once and for all. <clears throat> it's a mess. I did one of our first virtual library shows at the Kern County Library and I just made it like a usual ro roaming reptile show and had all the animals in boxes so they're easy to access and bring out to show on the virtual tour. Now you guys can't see that virtual tour per se because it was a live thing through Zoom, which Zoom has been a great platform to use. Leave a comment down below if you were using Zoom to do business calls or talk with people at all. It's, I found that it's very, very useful, especially for things like this. However, I have been doing those videos for the San Luis Obispo County Library, and those are videos, and they actually have a YouTube page that they've been letting people experience those videos through. So if you want to see any of those, I kind of feature an animal or two in each one, talk about them. It's for kids, and it's down in the description below if you want to check out that library channel. Go for it. And while we're down here in the snake room, I figure I might as well show you guys a snake that just shed out. This is Holly our carpet python. She's a caramel coastal carpet python that we got from our buddy Travis over at Living Legless. And she's looking fantastic. Take a look at her. Say hi, Holly. That's a H-A-L-I. Focus on the snake camera. You know you want to do it. Holly the carpet python, which is very appropriate for the shirt I'm wearing today. It's my Southwest Carpet Fest shirt, which I modified because they're trying to avoid an issue by putting the uh, the beer label on there for our local brewery here in the Southwest Carpet Fest Region 805. So I used puff paint for the first time since I was like seven, and I made myself a little hookah luka luka duka duka duka. You see that? I think it came out kind of okay. I'm not some masterful artist. <laughs> uh, while we're doing that, why don't we feature a friend, my buddy Brandon Wheeler. He always has a lot to do with making sure Carpet Fest goes off without a hitch, although it couldn't this year unfortunately, but um, Brandon does lots of cool stuff. Obviously he works with Morelia, being that into carpet pythons. He also has produced scrub python babies, which I'm very impressed with. There will be a link down in the description where you can find all of Brandon's information and all about Brandon, my buddy Brandon Wheeler. Uh, shout out, feature a friend. Shh. 
Check this out. This girl should be, oh, I think she might be moving into position right now, actually. She should be laying eggs anytime. I know I said that a while back, but I had, I had missed the ovulation and she had a pretty late shed, but anyway. Cinnamon Head Sunset Girl Candace, she's whoa on the move. She's like, I'm out of here. Okay, I think she's really getting looking for that spot to lay. Cause she's like, oh, she's like, I'm out. Okay, all right, she's ready to lay. I bet she lays like tonight. All right, you go back in there, make yourself comfortable. I won't bother you again until tomorrow. And we'll do a little quick check on you, all right? So who wants to wager that she lays this week? And not only does she lay this week, she's gonna have nine eggs, one slug, five of them are gonna be visual sunsets. And we've got a few clutches in the incubator yet. One of these, this one on top, should be hatching out like probably in the next couple weeks, I would say. Aha, aha, aha. Look at that little biscuit. Look at that other little biscuit. Hi. Hi. Hi, Snakey's gonna bite you. Oh, don't know, no, Snakey. Yeah. <laughs> I figured I better get back over as quickly as possible because Hillary's actually having a mommy day, which means, in, if you're part of the parent world, you might know that mommy day means. She's out there somewhere doing something amazing, hiking, surfing, something yeah. like that. But, yeah, but now you are the only parent here. That's right. That's why I came back upstairs to make sure you guys weren't burning the house down. Right, T? Yeah, because we don't <laughs> even right know. before you came upstairs, we were You just cut off Eli. We're working on an interrupter boy. Let Eli uh, finish what he was saying, then you can talk. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to box you camera. Yeah. You just yeah. tried to interrupt him again. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you did. He's still talking about boxing and yeah. you're sitting there interrupting. You're still interrupting. <laughs> hey, you want a third? Hey. What do you know? I know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Your eyes. My eye? What about my eye? That like all eyes, it has particles in it, and your eye is brown. Particles? I think. <laughs> Do you know what you're talking about? No. <laughs> mm. What kind of eye know is that? A lot of them are different colors. They all have a white spot, and all have a pupil, except for the ones who are blind. They're right. Here. <laughs> Come on, I want some solid eye facts, bro. 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 Eyes, are they solid? <laughs> They're not liquid. Are they solid? They're not gas. They're solid. They, like, they have cells in them. <laughs> oh man, come back to us when you know what you're talking about. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of history on how this song's gonna work. It's, it's not, we're going completely off the top of the head here. I'm not, I haven't written out the music, I haven't written out the lyrics, it's just everything's gonna be straight off the top of the head from the beat to whatever we end up doing for lyrics. But it's based on a song that I kind of always sing for her, just a little jingle that I make, it's like Little Maka, Little Taka, She's a Baby, She's a Me, Kimo. And I always, do I sing that to you all the time? No. I don't, she's, she's full of it. I sing that to her like daily. And so I thought I'd make a song off of that and it would be fun because she has like a hundred nicknames at least and some of them are Maka, some are Hakalaka, some are Hukutuku, Mickey Mo, and of course T, her name is Leia Moon, which... Pinch bugs! Well, outside pinch bugs outside! There are pincher bugs outside, you're right. We should make this song and then go feed some pincher bugs to the chickens, what do you think? Get another one. Okay, let's do it. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't think I'm necessarily ready for this either, but... Don't do that, Leia! Let's do it. <laughs> Come on, T, let's do this dance. You guys ready to get down? Ready? You sure? Haka maka, little taka. Little baby, she's a me, Kimo. She is my little bitty baby. She's my muku. She's my baby and I love her. So she is a little bitty puku. A little muku. She's a haka, she's a fancy pest. She is my little tiny baby. Oh, she's my baby. Oh, yeah, my baby. And yeah, she is the best. She likes to walk around the room. Get fat. Going fresh, going hard, going, going, going deep. No it's age, any sleep. When she clapping on the clapping on the beat. My little maka, 
my little mooka, she's a meeky mo. She does a taka, she does a taka, she does a little bit of taki and a reeky mo. We hanging out in the chicken coop. If we win New York, we might be on the chicken stoop. Nope, that's dark duck. Don't talk to me. <laughs> no sage. Come on, drop that beat on the page. Sit and things. Sing a song. Don't take too long. Come on, spit it on out. We want to hear it. I was doing in here because I don't like it in here. Yeah, I like to be pooping in that toilet, but I don't like to be pooping on it. But these silly little tricks, they're so silly. That's in my shoe. Oh, it's in your shoe? Yeah. Well, let me tell you what we're going to do. We're going to mock it. We're going to hiki. We're going to miki and a miki mo. She is my little tiny baby. She is my baby. She got a, something stuck up in her shoe. We're gonna try and try and fix it with a biscuit. Like a booty on a nose with sage. We're gonna go around the room in the chickens. And the chickens in the show the age. They're doing maki maki fresh. Maki fresh. That's what we're too cool. Little baby. And we're doing baby taki fresh. We're doing baby baby maka. A little baby baby maka. She is a little uku tuku. She gives us muku to her daddy on the face. Tuku. Baby buku. She my baby, she my fancy best. She is my little bitty baby. Oh my baby. And she wearing pink flamingo dress. She is a little bitty taka. A little dooku. She's doing no and she loves so much. She got it out on her own. Because she tough and she does things so by herself. She is a little bitty tuku. Little tuku. A little tuku. She's a fancy best. She does a little bit of monkey. A little taka. She is my baby and she does the best. She is my little bitty tuku. My baby buku. She is my buku when she's feeling fat. She is my little bitty tuku. She make a chicken chick scratch on the ground with a fashion match. She does a little Ha. Ooh. Baby Tuku, baby Tuku, she my fancy fest. She is my little bitty baka. She my rocker, and she going all around the rest. Thirsty little chicken needs to have a little mushy mush. She get a little bit of drinking. So the water's almost out. It's like a big drought. M O R dot dot. Shoes on. Shoes on. Oh, chickens are coming, T. The chickens are coming. <laughs> They're super thirsty, my guy. I'm thirsty too. Shoes on? Okay. Let's put your shoes on. You got the feet on the wrong feet, you dong dong. That's all right. Oh, mine is still in there. Come on, T. Let's get that shoe on. There we go. There we go. That's better. Lay a lay a lay a lay a lay a lay a moon. Lay a lay a lay a lay a lay a lay a moon. Lay a 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 moon. I'm very much out of practice and all kinds of stuff like that. But, but I think I should put myself back in the house for a minute. What did you guys think of that track? Like I said, it was like completely until. What did I tell you about interrupting, boy? What do you got? A blue belly lizard. What? Look at you. Let me see. Hold still. I can't see the lizard. You're all over the place, Sea Biscuit. Focus camera. Thank you. Cool, bud. Where did you find him? Can you hold him still so we can see him? You keep moving all I found him on the basket. You're right still there. moving the lizard. Hold him still for us. Please, you're like Jesse right now. Okay, let me. No! I found him on the basket. Then he climbed onto that blue bag. Then I grabbed him. Oh, oh, oh. No! <laughs> Oh, you better no! Catch no! <laughs> you better get that lizard, dude. Uh-oh. Come here. Oh, I think I... Almost got him. Got him! Oh, really? Yeah. Nice work, dude. He was on a piece of paper. I slided it out and wow, grabbed nice, him. Wow, nice move. Let's see that guy. He's fast. <laughs> Yeah, here, why don't you go take him outside before uh, we get lost again? Yeah. <laughs> Good catch, bud. Thanks. Sorry. Seriously? No, don't dip all the shoes over. Look what you're going to do. I can't believe that you let him run back in the house. I didn't know he could fit through here. He fit underneath the crack of the door? Yeah. That's crazy. Well, you better get him, dude. I'm gonna lift, you're gonna catch. Ready? Okay. You ready? Catch ya! Okay. Oh, 
Gentle, I... gentle, gentle. Oh, he's... No! Noah! Gotcha. <laughs> Silly Goodness little. gracious. Okay, now take him away from the house, please. Bye. Bye-bye. Crazy kid letting lizards loose in the house, man. I don't know what he's thinking. Look at these boxes just got here, though. Cold Bloody Cafe order. If you guys aren't getting your rodents to Cold Bloody Cafe, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Link in the description. Well, I hope you guys had yourselves a great time here with us today. I, I know my freestyle was probably quite a bit. Uh, I'm sure there was, I left something to be desired there for sure. It's been quite some time since I've done freestyling stuff like that, and I'm sure I'm a little bit out of practice. And it, I haven't listened back to it yet, but I can only imagine that it was not my best performance ever in my life. However, there was a lot of love behind it, and I think that's what really counts. Figured I should bring Roxanne out, because she had a fresh shed too, just for you guys to check her out before we sign off on out of here for the evening, day, afternoon, whatever the hell time it is you're watching this thing. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. I'm just gonna sit over here in this nice area with Roxanne, and we're gonna have ourselves a good time. You guys take care again. And uh...